meditation to connect with the spirit within the land using meditations and words by R.J. Stewart and Orion Foxwood. an invocation to the undercountry which is a call to the blessings of the good people also known as the fair ones now this calls them in an old way the fairies in earlier times were not considered small not like they are seen today since those times there has been attempts to trivialize and demonize them the fairy tradition was so old they're originally seen as human size or larger with beauty so incredible they would never let you see them directly because their beauty could strike you dead. They are so beautiful. These beings are the angels within the land. We can't fix what we've broken alone, but they can. But they won't come unbidden. We are human. We were born to be conscious creators, to extend the reach of the planet and the divine. You know, we're something that's never been and something to come from us that's never been before. Our job is to be a conscious creator, not just surrender to a creator, but to say, wake it in me so that I can be what you envisage. But we got to wake up and get responsible for our effect. And I think magic is a summoning to say, you are a creator of all our destiny too. You were created in the image of the divine. You know that the divine is a creator destroyer and inspire. That's what you're supposed to be too. You can speak to cloud and star in pant and stone because all of us are children of one mother. And here on planet, We're all made of Mother Earth, but we're also made of the sky, which gave birth to the stars and the greatest mother of them all. So the life force in you reaches out as the uncanny knowing. Go to your mirror and look deep into your mirror. Look way inside your eyes and see your little sparkle of light. And when you see that little sparkle of light, say, God, Why did you become me? What was the inspiration behind my birth? You were born out of inspiration, not desperation. We are all children of one mother, sister and brother, human and other. Okay, we'll go into the space now. Be still, stilling your sense of time, space and movement. Light your candle and open your directions. Welcome east and the element of water. Welcome east and the element of air. Welcome south and the element of fire. Welcome west and the element of water and north and the element of earth. Welcome the stars far off in the universe and the stars deep in the earth's crust and the star within I acknowledge and adore you. Let your awareness rest upon the candle flame and know that this terrestrial fire of earth and moon is at one with the celestial fire, sun and stars. Feel your own flame of being within. Resonate with the candle flame. The flame expands and grows and becomes a vast pillar of light in front of you, extending to the heights above and the depths below. With this awareness pass through into the timeless convocation a perpetual communion of the many beings at the threshold of the void, where the flame of being becomes a pillar of light extending through the universe. Be still here and rest in communion with the spiritual presence of this timeless place. Known through the ages, 
to all who seek spiritual communion and enlightenment. So anyone who can, just place your hands, palm downwards, and just be aware of the livingness of the earth. So much life which comes to you from the earth, like what you drink, what you eat, your very flesh. And as you do, you'll feel a tingle, an aliveness in the earth, in the undercountry which is the underbelly of life itself. It is the memory of the cellar origins of our planet and in that place between the particles of substance there is an unlimitable light, a light that's imperishable, that is the earth of light. In that place the luminous children of the dawn, the fair ones, the sealy whites, known by many names, so in honour to them I speak this invocation. Good neighbours of the underrealms, awaken unto life, ban the bane, and bless our life, and banish blight and strife. Open now the ancient ways of life and love with land. Open now the Hawthorne Way as we extend our hands. Lead us to the magic road and back in touch with thee and we will know our king in rock and cloud and sacred tree. We will end this call with heartfelt breath and consecrated deed, blessings to all by root and flower and wind-gathered seed. Blessings to all by root and flower and wind-scattered seed. Blessings to all by root and flower and wind-scattered seed. May these seeds from the original tree, the tree of enchantment that dispels the spell of forgetfulness, and we awaken, and all of us gain the miraculous. Maybe these roots, may these seeds take root. May they take root in our lives. May they take root, and the fallen who's wounded, those harmed and hurt, those fearful men, and take root in those who are awakening. May it wake up the ancestral wisdom with all of us. May the land breathe black back into us, unknowing that we can co-create a future worthy of our children, of the earth that has given so much. Let us be written into the book of the law that none may rend asunder as it is, as it was, and as it ever shall be. Know this and grow this and ignite. The stars really will guide us through the darkest of nights. Bring our presence back. Be still, stilling your sense of time, space and movement. We begin to come back into ourselves. We can close and acknowledge the directions. East in the element of air, I thank you and good night. South in the element of fire, I thank you and good night. West in the element of water, I thank you and good night. North in the element of earth, I thank you and good night. stars far off in the universe I thank you and good night and the stars deep in the earth's crust I thank you and good night and the star within I acknowledge and adore you bring your attention back to the candle flame and know that this terrestrial fire of earth and moon is at one with the celestial fire of sun and stars feel your own flame of being within Resonate with the candle flame, the flame that, that had expanded and grown to be a pillar of light, extending to the heights above and the depths below. See the pillar retrace and return to the flame of the candle.
with this awareness pass back out through the, into the times of convocation. A perpetual communion of many beings at the threshold of the void where the flame of being becomes a pillar of light extending through the universe. Return to your place in your room or seated position. Be still and rest in communion with the spiritual presence of this timeless place. Known through the ages to all who seek spiritual communion and enlightenment. Now be aware again of the room of place around you. Above, below and within. Know that this too is the pillar of light and the timeless convocation. Let your sense of the regenerative power flow out to the outer world. Now return to your outer awareness and go in peace. Gently putting out the candle flame or leaving it to burn safely. Got a meal, got a market. Slang of